Hey, what's going on? And welcome to Killing with Dylan. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, writing. Today we're chilling with Liz Worth. Hey. Liz is a writer, poet, and terror reader. She has numerous books published and can be bought at the bookstore near you. Is there anything I left out? I think that's it. You got it. All right. Let's get it. Tell me about your book, No Work Finished Here. Um, well, this book is my newest book. Uh, it just came out um, in September 2015. I took this old Andy Warhol book called A, A Novel, which Andy Warhol had put together when he had his factory in Manhattan in the late 60s. Mm -hmm. And he had a lot of people who would hang out at his factory and they were all really, really interesting. And so he decided to follow them around and just record their conversations. You know, not everything always made sense and they only had four people who were actually transcribing these tapes. And they were doing it on typewriters, which is really hard. <sighs> so yeah. um, when the transcripts were done, Andy Warhol decided that he actually didn't want to edit it at all. He just published the book as all those transcripts were. So it's really raw and very hard to read, but it's also really interesting. And there was something about this book that I always liked. So I decided to kind of create a poem for every page of that book. And I just kind of used the best text possible. So that's what No Work Finished Here became. That's really cool. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> what is the difference between writing a novel and writing a script? The outcome for both of them is entirely different. So a novel yeah. is, you know, meant to be read on the page, whereas a script is meant to be acted out. So with a script, yeah. you know, you're thinking a lot more about um, movement, scenes, dialogue. You're, the length is also really different because um, this writing is almost, you know, it's happening within a, a constrained length of time. Whereas a novel, you know, time is a lot less linear um, yeah. and the structure is entirely different and yeah you know you're writing something that people might read chapter by chapter or just a couple pages at a time and then they'll put down and they can come back to it again yeah um, but if you're writing a script you know that's something that's just meant to be experienced in one sitting yeah and also I feel that novels explain a lot more that's going on yeah I mean in a novel you know you can get right inside a character's head and that's a lot harder to yeah. do in movies and sometimes People find ways to do that with scripts as well, but that's not always possible. Yeah, right? and the same thing with remakes too. They would like remake like the novel. Mm -hmm. It would be totally different. Like Annie, for instance. First it was a novel, and then it was a movie. Then they made a remake with a whole black cast. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who would win in a fight, R.L. Stein or Stephen King? Oh, um, I don't know why, but I want to say R.L. Stein. Me too. Yeah? Okay, nice. We agree on this. Yeah. Yeah. Because, why? Well, even though Stephen King <laughs> has like some darker stories, uh -huh. R.L. Stein is a freaking legend. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to writing. Yeah. Because he can sink monsters on him. He got to sink monsters, uh -huh. all sorts of kind of scary stuff on yeah. Stephen King. Yeah. All Stephen King can throw <laughs> out is like Kudo. Do you ever worry when you write about your personal life? I've written a lot about my personal life. Um, 
online and uh, and it's also shown up in a couple of my books. Um, my first poetry collection, which is called Amphetamine Heart, and my first novel, uh, which is called Post Apoc, are both very autobiographical. Um, I don't really see the sense in hiding things or keeping secrets because it's important for everyone to know um, that we all share experiences and we can actually strengthen each other by showing our vulnerabilities rather than keeping up appearances or trying to pretend like everything's okay or acting like there are certain things that have to be kept behind closed doors. Yeah. So do you want to try writing a poem? Sure. OK, great. Um, so I was thinking that what we could do is, because my, um, my book is a, a found poetry project, that means that you're taking um, words from an existing text, and you're playing around with those words and rearranging them and creating something totally new uh, from that page. So since this is a book that was inspired by Andy Warhol, I thought that what we could do is make a poem uh, from Warhol's last known interview, okay? Okay. Pick out a word or a sentence or something that you like here. In America? All right, yep. cool. I'm gonna do, so we'll write down in America. And then I'm gonna pick, um, to me it's negative. What else is in there that you like? Um. In America, it might be the last day of happier days. MTV shows tell me the story of the Last Supper, interviewing people about negative things. Men in the factory has 15 minutes. Could be almost famous as New York. The 60s brought a good picture to play themselves in it. It's called The Last Day of America. I would like to thank Liz Worth for letting me stop by and teach me about writing. I had a great time. How about you? Did I have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, I had a great time too. Thank you so much. Where can people find more information about you? Uh, if they want to find me online, I'm at LizWorth.com. So until next time, keep chilling.